This is too bad. Oh my gosh. If you haven't tried this, you really need to try this. I promise it's a rush. Well, we went this morning, found good blood, found my arrow, and I was really excited. Look at this. And I got good blood on it and everything. But see all the scat? What happened was, is uh, the camera, I blind filmed last night because I didn't want the, uh, the screen glowing in the blind. And he was a little spooky and the wind was blowing wrong. So I knew I had to shoot him before he got to that feeder because that's where the, the javelina earlier had uh, smelled me. So what happened was I thought he was quartering away from me and he was actually quartering to me. I hit him on his left shoulder and went through his goods. Look at all that scat. But look at all that blood too. And that's some good blood. Well, we found uh, where he bedded down and had, you know, followed the blood trail where he bedded down. And before we got to him, a hog jumped and ran. There's two beds. Well, no blood out of there, but uh, we were kind of standing together. Matthew was with us tracking. And he was carrying a shotgun, 12 gauge with buckshot, and he took a shot at him on the run, and uh, we didn't hit him because we didn't find any blood. We kind of scattered out, and after that it was a done deal. We never found any more blood, so we lost him. He's somewhere still out there. So as high as you can go, is as low as you can go. That's what happens whenever you do a quartering two shot. Big boy. Matthew said the one he jumped and run just in case it was a second hog. He said this one was about 250 pounds. Sounds about right. So maybe we'll find him when we're tracking something else. Everybody don't gave it up. So feel sorry for me on YouTube. The hog hunter diva. As high as you can go, as low as you can go. Boo hoo. Next time. Anyway, that's hunting. I learned a lesson anyway. See you next time. And, uh, he did circle back around and he used them to fix stuff. So, we're 12 minutes. I held back because I smelled something dead where I thought my pig was. And uh, I've got to get through here so I can show them to you. See the thick stuff. And it all has thorns. And you know the day we were looking for him? I was probably within 15 yards of them. I'm looking for the easiest way to get through here. Isn't this fun? Look at all this stuff you gotta track through. There he is, he's laying over there. Can you see him in the trees? Got buzzards coming. <laughs> anyway, let me crawl over there. There, Spike, he's coming hunting with my pig. Him too. They're hollering at him. He's supposed to be over there hunting quail. He followed me. Yeah, that's bad, Spike. Watch him. Watch him. Ah, yuck. Yuck. Okay. Good dog. Here, let me see if I can't get to him. Yes. Coyote's already got him. That's pretty good. At least he didn't go totally wasted. Heard the coyotes over here last night when I was hunting. Whew. Got some nice teeth on him. Those tanks. I'm in the thick, in the thorns, and I'm going to cut his head off, take him back, and bury it and clean this skull and show him to you another day. Bye.